Okay, we have cauliflower, cherries, almonds, herbs, olive oil, vinegar, salad. We're gonna make a very nice salad. This is a request for Midit in Miami. Midit, we miss you, we love you. Hope everything is okay. So, all I've done is cut the bottom of the cauliflower. I have a little blender here. We're gonna go inside, okay? Do this pieces at a time, okay? We're gonna pulse it or use the chop function. Whatever you've got on your little blender is the best, okay? Oh, a bit messy there. Put this one on top, and we're just gonna chop. We wanna keep the cauliflower with a nice texture. Not too fine, guys, okay? Go straight into the bowl. And we do the next bit. And the next bit. Hope everyone is doing okay in quarantine. No one's getting too bored. Hopefully it'll be lifted by now. Again, chop it, chop it. Peaches to this as well because we've got some nice peaches that we got at the super this morning. I'm going to add this one into the bowl here. If you've got a little bit of leftover grains like quinoa or brown rice or rice or frick or anything like that, this is good to add to it. I don't add grains, I like it just the way it is. Half a cup of nuts, almonds, I keep them whole. It's up to you if you want to or you don't. And then some peaches. We're gonna add a little bit of cherries to this. But we add those after we toss it, okay? Because we don't want it to bleed into the cauliflower. We chop those peaches up nicely. The stone's just been removed. Just cut them up, nice dice. into the side. Okay, so I'm gonna add some herbs, just a bit of mint, fresh, straight in. I like to use whole leaves. You can chop this if you want. Chop it with the root in them. I prefer whole leaves. It almost acts like a kind of lettuce in a salad. And a nice amount of dill buds, okay? Just pick it straight off. Don't be too precise with it. You don't want anything that's too thick from the herbs, but you want to keep the leaves, all right? It's going to give us a nice punch of flavor just for out the salad. Okay, we need a nice amount of salt. Whenever I make salads, I always season the vegetables before I try and add a dressing, okay? We're gonna make a nice dressing for it, but we need to season it very well. Because it's raw, it's gonna require a bit more salt. Okay, in here I've got a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of the vinegar, distilled vinegar, sherry if you've got, or balsamic is good. Three tablespoons of salam. Salam, or you can use pomegranate molasses, but this is gonna give us it's like a sweet and sour style flavor for the dressing. We're gonna give that a little mixy mixy. So I always need just a touch of dressing just to the side. Don't try and dress everything straight away. We add some cherries. Good amount. And just stone them. 
you get some fresh, it's good just to stone them, have everything prepared, ready to rock and roll. A touch more salt for the fruit. And then just for two spoons, we're gonna to toss, okay? Don't toss it like a mad person, take it quite gentle, okay? So everything is mixed. seasoning for me. Ready to play. This is great with like a protein, like you could do some nice salmon with this, a little bit of chicken if you wanted. Something just to add to it, or it's just great as it is. You can also add something to it, like a bit of tuna would be good with this for sure. Build it up nice and high, okay? Boom shakalaka. And then all I do is just I just decorate with a few of the bits and pieces this inside. So just some nuts. A nice sprig of mint on the top will be good. A couple more cherries scattered around just so people can see what's inside. A bit of dill. There you go, one salad down. That's for you, Chef Millie. Hope you're doing well in the jammy. That's vegetables. <laughs> All right, guys. Nice cauliflower salad, completely vegan. Nice amount of protein in there. You can add some hemp seeds and sexy stuff to it if you want it. I like it just plain like that. Done, ready for dinner. Enjoy.